The member for Rankin. Thanks very much, Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. How many of the 76 recommendations from the Banking Royal Commission has the government fully implemented? Yes, how many? The Treasurer has Speaker, the I can inform the House that we have already legislated Recommendation 3.6, which will prohibit super annuation funds inducing employees. We have already recommended and legislated through this parliament recommendation 3.7, which introduces in civil penalties for trustees and directors of super funds. Mr Speaker, we have already introduced and passed regulations which extend AFCA's remit for financial complaints back to 2008. Mr Speaker, we have already passed regulations to ensure greater cooperation with AFCA. Mr Speaker, legislated product intervention powers for about the design and the distribution obligations for ASIC. We have agreed with the states and territories to develop a national approach to farm debt mediation. We announced that Graham Samuel would chair a review into APRA, and we have actually accepted the recommendations from that APRA review. Um, we've commissioned, Mr. Speaker, we've announced in the budget $649 million of extra funding for ASIC and APRA, which is a 25 to 30 per cent increase. Mr. Speaker. We're extending the jurisdiction to the federal court to include um, criminal, um, a, a criminal jurisdiction, Mr. Speaker, and the list goes on. Now, Mr. Speaker, members on have, the left. We have, there, is, there were 76 recommendations. Mr. Speaker, the other side are a complete joke. The other side are a complete joke. They, they took 22 days to respond. We took four days, and we're getting on with the job of legislating, past regulations, doing it carefully so that no mistakes are made. This is a critically important area. Now, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to an organisation like APRA, in Labor's last year in office, funding actually decreased. Not increase, Mr. Speaker. Funding under us is now at a record level. We have passed legislation, passed regulations, and getting on with the job of protecting Australian consumers. 